It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and scientists continue to look into if snake venom can treat the disease. Fox 43's Robert Stover spoke with a Lancaster County reptile expert and shares how the animals he studies could one day be used to treat patients. This is called a fork hold, and so this is just making sure that we're controlling the bite radius. Meet Chester, an adult Gila monster with a venomous bite. But don't let the word monster in the name fool you. Chester's bite may be a force for good. We try to teach folks that every animal that they run into has a purpose, and some of those times we don't even understand the full nature of the purpose. Jesse Rothhacker with Forgotten Friend Reptile Sanctuary says Chester's venom has a hormone called Exendin-4, which could help treat people with type 2 diabetes. It's not the only venom with potential medical applications. For many years, there have been a number of proteins in different venomous snakes that scientists have been able to isolate. Snakes, like the copperhead, its venom has chondrotinotin, a protein used to attack tumor cells associated with breast and ovarian cancer. To date, the treatment has only been tested on animals, though after decades of studies, Rothhacker is optimistic the treatment could be used in hospitals across the country. A lot of this stuff is still, I think, where they're scratching the surface and, uh, they're, and they're, they're hoping to see the final results, but I think a lot of it is still in progress. All he wants to do is get across the trail. Earlier this month, Rothhacker crossed paths with a copperhead while on a bike trail. He posted the encounter on YouTube to remind people about other animals to look out for. This here is Rita. She's commonly referred to as a black rat snake, but her real name is an eastern rat snake. She's not venomous, but is local to Pennsylvania. Now, even though she's not venomous, there are a few things you should look out for if you see snakes like her. If you see a snake like this crawling in your backyard, just take a picture from a safe distance. You're welcome to send it to us. You can um, message us through Facebook or Instagram or, or text it to us, and we'll let you know for sure what it is. Robert Stover, Fox 43 News.